Hello, Taurus. This is Soul. And Taurus, this is your uh, bi monthly messages. Uh, and we're going to start the energy for you, Taurus, uh, beginning August 1st and ending August 11th, 2019. The messages will be for uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising Signs as well. All right, my fellow bulls, I hope all is well. <clears throat> Before I begin, I want to thank everybody who has wished me a very happy birthday. I had a very, very nice birthday. I had some uh, nice time off, downtime, uh, much needed time. And actually, I was thinking that I need to do it more often, so we don't know. Anyway, I'm back. I'm energized. Uh, hopefully that I can, you know, give you more content in terms of these readings and these uh, videos, messages. Um, and with that being said, I hope that you guys are enjoying summer for those who are uh, able to enjoy summer energies and just basically enjoying life. OK, so let's begin uh, your messages. Oh, but before I even do that, let's uh, I always like to introduce um, since it is a new month, a new deck that I have come across. It's called the Fountain Fountain Tarot and it's by uh, the creator is Jonathan Says, S-A-I-Z. Uh, so you can't really see the the card box, but it's um, light in color. And then also, too, I came across the affirmators. These are just oracle messages, um, affirmation messages that will be uh, used. One card will be drawn to complement your reading, and they're very nice. So anyway, with that being said, let's get underway with your reading, Taurus. See what the energies are going to uh, present for you in the next two week period of time. And basically, I'm starting off uh, August 1st through, through to the 11th. So it can um, get me back in sync and to uh, produce some, uh, you know, by excuse me, bi monthly messages uh, for you. OK, so let's see what the energies are for Taurus coming up. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Shadow card energy, Taurus, may be energy that plays out along with the rest of the uh, cards that are going to be selected for you. Uh, and also, too, if it's a major arcana, it's definitely going to be some energy that will play out. I like this deck. It's, um, he gilded the sides with silver, so that's different. And then the card stock is really good, so I can shuffle these cards without having to... Um, have them all flip out on me and <laughs> go crazy so i have control all right so let's see energies for taurus all right so taurus your shadow card shadow energy is oh, okay you got the six of cups and you know what i just did pisces uh no i did um aquarius i think and they had the six of cups as the shadow card energy so this six of cups is a reflection of for some of you possibly during this two-week period of time of going down memory lane thinking of things from your past but it was you know those things that brought in some sort of happiness emotional uh, satisfaction and contentment that could have been just some events that you've uh, experienced in your past and it also could be those same things that you experience with others since the six of cups represents um relationships okay this could be family members so this is an open general reading this could represent family members friends from your past people uh it could also represent ex-lovers it's positive in the upright position. So it could be that during this two-week period of time that some of you, uh, including yourself, even thinking about uh, those things from your past in relationship to that of others and it's connected to possibly events or it doesn't have to necessarily be connected to events, but something that you're thinking about. Also, too, this could be a two-week period of time for some of you, as I always pick up this energy with the Six of Cups, in relationship to people that you were close to, and now they are, you know, in spirit. So this could be uh, a couple things uh, coming through in connection with this energy that either this time frame is uh, a time frame of their passing, or there's uh, something in relationship to uh possibly their birthdays or there's a connection there's definitely some sort of connection uh that i'm picking up 
but it's you know reference to this time frame okay so you could be thinking about those things all right i do feel that there is a tendency of when the six of cups shows up here that there are people from our past that we haven't seen or heard from in a long period of time and it could be just primarily uh you know energy and thought that they're thinking of you and you may be thinking of them and then all of a sudden uh they reach out to you hey you know i was just thinking about you the other day it's been a, a long time since um you know we've seen each other we talked to each other one of those things and then you could also be uh, thinking the same thing and then reach out to somebody that you were thinking about. But I think that the, the synchronicity here is that normally when that activity is not always 100% certain, when you're thinking of someone and someone's thinking of you, that's when the contacts uh, occur. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, so there is a tendency for people to reach out to you that you haven't heard from in a while, seen that, which can include ex-lovers. Now, when it comes to the ex-lovers, I'm always caution, uh, cautionary when it comes to, hey, you know what? Because the Six of Cups is in the upright position, it's positive. But you know what? You take things at your own risk when you when you try to entertain. Yeah, well, maybe you had been in a relationship and the love was great and the sex was great and all that other shit. But what what would explain the reason why you're not together now? So that's what I'm saying. You can entertain it if you want to. Um, or not, you know, even if they do reach out to you and it's part of uh, something that you've dealt with in terms of a, a romantic relationship. But anyway, enough about that. Your shadow card energy relates to the six of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female uh, comes into play. So the overall focus for you, for some of you during this next two week period of time and Interestingly enough, I said focus because the King of Wands is here. That's the card of focus. I always say the King of Wands is focused. The Queen of Wands could be focused when she shows up. But this is you being very intense and very passionate in possibly a good way. But whatever the energies are that are unveiled in your spread, uh, the main thing is that for you to be focused and to stay focused. All right. So underneath that King of Wands could be... Um, what you may be focused on, what's following the King of Wands may be what you're focused on. So, but it doesn't really matter. It's a lot of um, passion. It's a lot of intensity. It's a lot of great intensity, great imp uh, passion, and also just being focused. Also times, also I always pick up um, lots of times. That's what I was trying to say. And I blurted it out too fast. You know, a lot of determination, OK, a lot of determination. This is a court card. All right. This is a court card. So it could be whatever. Well, we already have the six of cups. So the cups represent relationships, love, romance, platonic you know, relationships. Cups represent children. So it could be that uh, the king is showing up here, which could represent female. That's someone from your past, possibly for some of you that I'm reading for was a fire sign. Now, I get a father figure, grandfather figure. Um so I'm, I'm just throwing in um, examples here, but whatever this connection that could be for you, this is what I'm coming up with. Once all the cards are revealed, Taurus, you know, you can create your own story and see how things start to unfold. I'm just giving you my intuitive impressions, basically, in which aren't set in stone. So the King of Wands is, um, you know, uh, representing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Now we have the magician. The magician is showing up here. OK, there's two sides of the magician, as I always say. Uh, the positive aspect is, is that, you know, Taurus, you have everything at your disposal to manifest uh, whatever it is that you want to bring into your life. If it's a new job, if it's a new relationship, if it's a new friendship, if it's something going on with the family, you have everything everything this is the start of, this is also a card of starting something new or wanting to start something new or begin uh something new that is equal to the aces that show up which is all about new things all right and as i was trying to determine whether or not was he uh because this on the negative side you can see like a uh, like a veil or something like I thought maybe he was holding up like a mask or something. So but the magician is uh, definitely uh, on the negative side, a manipulator, a trickster, 
someone who puts on a mask, uh, someone who comes after you <clears throat> or targets you uh, for love, for money, for sex, uh, for anything, your time, anything that they can get out of you or, you know, once they have their uh, graphs around you, then they start to drain you. And it could be your emotions. It could be your bank account. It could be uh, your physical aspects. You know, um, they don't care about themselves. These people are sociopathic, narcissistic. And I am speaking of the second side of the magician here. They lack empathy. They don't care about your feelings. They only care about what they can gain from you and what they can extract from you. So be careful. This could be somebody that you're already dealing with. Uh, Taurus, but this also could be somebody that you meet uh, during this two week period of time because they are coming after you for um, their gains and nothing else. All right. So let's see what's following this magician here, the manipulator, the trickster, the fraud on the negative uh, side. We have the page of coins. OK, so this is good. This is the start of a new job. So we have and remember, I said the start of something new. So the focus is for some of you about manifesting to bring in possibly a new job, a change of a job. It also could be a relationship because this could be uh, indicating of a, re a relationship. This is a card of generosity. Um, it could also, because it is a page, represent uh, a birth of a child. So I have the focus on um, definitely relationships with the Six of Cups. And then the focus is on possibly uh, work, new job, or job change for some of you. But it's positive. Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female, which is part of your energy. All right, Taurus. So the next thing up is the Six of Wands. Wow. This is the Six of Wands in this deck. So these cards are light. In color, so it may not be able to, um, you may not be able to see the images and stuff too well. Um, but they, they were nicely done, they were nicely done. So, Six of Wands is victory and success, okay? And it's also a traveling card for me. So, some of you could be traveling during this two week period of time. Um, some of you are achieving some sort of victory and success, uh, an attachment to some entity, whatever that is for you, all right? Six of Wands represent fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius male or female we opened up your reading with the fire sign energies and then your focus is going to be on the things that I had mentioned but it also could include the focus on traveling all right or some other victory and success attached to um, it could be a situation person or an event all right. So following that, we now have your energy again, Knight of Coins. All right. So focus on work. This is the Knight of Pentacles and the upright. So that could be for some of you a uh, promotion, that change of job, um, pay raises. OK, Knight in Shining Armor. This is the person that comes along to and it could reference you that helps others or someone is helping you. See, because they're they're lending the pentacles to they're offering the pentacles to someone that could be you. Um, but because it is your reading, I feel that it's energy coming towards you as, as opposed to it going out from you uh, being a receptor. So this is money coming in for some of you in some aspect. And it's very positive. This is the night. This is a card of security, stability. And not only generosity, but uh, longevity. So we have two court cards. All right. The king. And then we have the knight of pentacles, your energy underneath. So relationship wise, I'm definitely reading or picking up the energy that there is somebody, that, you know, that comes along and looks at these videos that they're in a relationship. Now, this could be a business relationship, but they might be in a business relationship with a true fire sign. They might be in a romantic relationship. Uh, with a fire sign. It could be that I'm picking up that they're in a relationship and they work together in the same, you know, uh, employment. The person of interest could be older than Taurus. 
All right, so following that Knight of Pentacles now, Taurus, we have the Two of Wands. So this is the Two of Wands in this deck. And normally the Two of Wands is about the formation of ideals. It's about writing things down for future things to take place. Uh, specifically, uh, it's underneath that um, magician, which on the positive side that, you know, I had mentioned that you have everything at your disposal to bring in whatever it is um, that you want to manifest into your life. Now, this two of wands would then represent a writing plan or a plan of action. OK, those ideals coming. Things that you want to bring into your life and you need to, uh, you know, the two of wands say you need to, OK, write that shit down. To make it even to solidify it even more to make those things come true, you have to concretely write it down and then the universe receives it. OK, so it's not just merely a thought process. You have to, you know, physically write it out. So these are ideals, plans. Being formed, but not yet ready to move. Because you're still gathering information. All right. For others is the, you know, it could be a, a lack of movement or a lack of stagnation uh, that could be with a relationship, but it doesn't necessarily, you know, spell doomsday. So things may not be moving fast for you or the way that you want it to be moved. OK, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius again with the two of wands showing up in the upright position. Next up is now the will of fortune, major arcana. So you have good luck and good fortune on your side. Wow. And it sits right underneath that page of coins, page of pentacles, your energy. This doesn't always represent, always, you know, say to uh, my viewers and stuff to, you know, it's a gambling card. It's a, it's a card to, you know, possibly win a fortune. Um, but I would never, you know, suggest to you to go out and, and be stupid. You know, they always say gamble, uh, play responsibly. And I'll tell you the same thing. You don't take and bet the farm on a lottery because more than likely you're not going to be uh, a winner. But. If it's not related to, you know, uh, f some sort of good fortune when it comes to, f see, it's underneath the pentacles. That's money. So there is a tendency for if we have some responsible gamblers out here, this is playing the lottery. This is playing, um, you know, possibly going to the casino. We have um, the Knight of Pentacles here. That's when I said there's money coming in from some source. So if you go to the casinos, you may, hear, you know, get a little bit of luck. Uh, for others, it's just good luck and good fortune. This is my fate and destiny card. So you're fated to get that job. You were destined to get that job. You were fated to get that pay raise. You were fated to get that promotion. That's the will of fortune. Major Arcana. Last card that I have for you, uh, Taurus, is now the King of Swords. Okay, so we have another court card. King of Swords is you being very determined, uh, moving forward, taking action. There's no uh, clouds covering over your head. There's no uncertainty. There's no confusion. You know exactly what the hell you're going to do. You made up your mind what you're going to do. Now you're going to step forward. King could represent female energies as well. But this is a card of uh, determination underneath the six of wands, victory and success. So I definitely see traveling going on here for some some of you. And it may be with another energy. So this actually turned out to be a pretty good reading for you, uh, Taurus. I really do feel that this is uh, some good energy. Wow. Let's see how it unfolds. You know, I always uh, appreciate the comments. Throw in the comments. Let me know what's going on. These readings are resonating with you or... Um, if they're not, you don't really have to, you know, comment. <laughs> OK, so let me pick a card from the Affirmators uh, deck. And the card that I have selected for you, Taurus, is uh, Divine Timing. Oh, this is interesting. So Divine Timing says everything is timing and timing is everything. Gladly, I release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will. 
I trust that the divine schedule makers know what they're doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. So you have divine timing. These are the messages from this deck. OK, um, so far, um, I understand them, but sometimes some people may not be able to receive the message in itself. But you have to uh, as as I reread, I said, OK, now it makes sense. But when I first read it, it might. Oh, that doesn't make sense. But anyway, these are just cards to inspire you to give you some type of, you know, affirmation that all is well so anyway taurus please be safe enjoy this energy coming up for you i feel that it's very positive for some of you um always emphasizing that safety sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way taurus until i talk to you again be well bye <laughs>